What is Java? What are the features of Java? What is Java used for? And what are Java components? Hello everyone, this is Sukanya from GoEduHub Technologies and in this video we are going to discuss about basics of Java. So the first question arises is, what is Java? What do we mean by Java? Java is a platform independent and an object oriented programming language. Now here arises two new terms that what is platform independent and what is object oriented. Platform independent means you can run various applications of Java irrespective to the system. In the basic terms, if I create a Java program in a particular system, then I can run that particular program also in any other system which is Java supported. And the next is object oriented. What do we mean by object oriented? That is everything created in Java, a particular class, a method, a function, everything is treated as an object. So these two comprises that Java is a platform independent and an object oriented programming language. It is released by Sun Microsystems in the year 1995 and it is developed by James Gosling. Now, next we have that what is Java used for or what are the various sectors in which Java is used and what is the efficiency of using Java there. So the first sector in which Java is used is in banking. Now how does Java is used in banking? It is used to deal with transaction management. The next sector in which Java is used is retail. In retail sector, it helps in the billing application that you can see in a store which is completely written actually in Java. The next it is used in Android. In Android development, Java is a very important feature. It is used to build up several applications with the use of Java or with the help of Java API. The next it is used widely in the IT industries. It is also used in the research sectors and also in the development sectors. Java is also used in stock market, big data, everything it consumes of Java. Hence, it makes it so in use because it is vastly used in all the sectors. Next, we come to what are the features of Java and why Java is such in use. That means it definitely has some important and very essential features. Now, let us see that what are the several features of Java. So, now we are going to discuss about the features of Java. The very first feature of Java is that it is a simple language. Now, what do we mean by simple? That means it has reduced the complexity or removed all the complexity such as pointer or operator overloading that we see in C++ or many other programming language that consists that Java is a simple language. Next is portable which we have also studied in the platform independent when I discussed about the definition of Java. Portable means that it is platform independent, which means that any application written on one platform can be easily ported to the another platform which supports Java. For example, I have written a particular code and saved that in my particular system. For example, save one. I can run this particular code on n number of system which are Java supported. So if these systems are Java supported, then my code is portable, hence it is an important feature of Java. The next feature of Java is, which we also discussed in the definition is object oriented. The Java is an object oriented programming language. As I already told that everything created in Java is treated as an object, an instance which is having its own behavior and its own features. So everything is considered to be an object which possesses some state, behavior and the operation which are performed using these objects in programs. Next is, it is a secured programming language also. Now what do we mean by secured programming language? All the code of Java which I have written is actually converted into a bytecode. Now this bytecode is not actually in human readable form. So it also reduces the virus free and the tamper free system or the application because it is not readable by human and Java does not use an explicit pointer to run the programs. Hence it is a secure programming language also.
Next is it is a dynamic in nature. We know that it is used for building dynamic websites or the advanced versions of Java. And it also has the ability to adapt to the environment which supports the dynamic memory allocation. And it also gives no memory wastage. No memory is wastage. Hence, it is a dynamic programming language because memory wastage is reduced and the performance is automatically increased. If the memory wastage is reduced, then the performance automatically increases of a program. Next feature of Java is that it is distributed. Now, what do we mean by distributed and what is distributed as a feature? So now let us discuss about it. Distributed means the language provide a feature with the help it creates distributed application. That means in a particular server, let's say, if there are some methods in, present in that server, then it can be invoked to the client with the help of some functions or some registries or some program. So that can be done with the help of Java program. You can assess the files by calling the method from any machine over the internet or over the server. So that makes it distributed. There are other features of Java also, but these are the most important feature that combine Java. One last feature of Java which I want to discuss is multi-threaded. We must have studied about this term a lot. That what we mean by thread and what is multi-threaded actually means. So multi-threaded means a Java program executes in several threads. That is, it supports the multiple threads of execution. Threads are basically lightweight processes that increase the execution of the program. So those are called threads. So it supports multi-threading also. And this makes programming with threads much easier. So these are the features of Java. Next, we are going to discuss about the Java components. So now we are going to discuss about components in Java that what are the several components in Java which helps it to make it such an important and a robust programming language. The very first component of Java is JVM. Now JVM is basically Java virtual machine by full form. What is the use of JVM is a question that might arise in your mind. So JVM is an abstract machine. It is a specification that provides the runtime environment. This particular JVM, what it provides, it provides the runtime environment to the code and in which the byte code can be executed. We know that, for example, I have written a program P and after compilation, what is generated? The byte code file is generated. This we have already discussed. So this byte code actually runs on any particular environment or any particular runtime environment. So that is actually given by JVM. Now that a runtime environment is actually the second component that is known as JRE, which is the short form for Java runtime environment. So this runtime environment actually provides the environment so that this byte code can get executed. That is this Java particular runtime environment. Now, it executes the bytecode and it implements the JVM and provides the classes and library. What does this JRE provides? It provides the several classes along with the libraries so that this particular bytecode file or any program in the JVM can execute. So JVM combines the JRE that it gives the runtime environment. This is actually the runtime environment which is given to the Java virtual machine. The next part is JDK. This is the last component of Java that is JDK. Now this is basically Java development kit. Now, what does this Java development kit has? It actually has, contains the JRE. Along with the JRE, it includes the interpreter, compiler, and a jar folder. That is all the documentation generator and the other tools are there required for a Java development. In short, it contains the JRE along with the development tools. So that comprises of JDK that it combines the JRE and the development tools. To, to cut it short so that you can remember what is actually JVM, JRE and JDK, I have a trick for you that if you want to know that what is JDK, so JDK you can say that I have already written here that it is JRE plus all the development tools. So that comprises together of JDK.
and what does jre is having jre is providing the jvm that is the java virtual machine plus the libraries that comprises together of jre so the jdk consists of jre plus development tools and the jre consists of jvm java virtual machine plus the library classes which are required for the execution of the bytecode file so by the end of this video we have studied about what is java what are the sectors in which java is used why it is such a popular programming language because of its enormous amount of features and what are the components of java that makes it such an efficient programming language for more concepts and basics of java we will look into upcoming videos thank you